Okay, so I I noticed recently that LinkedIn has changed their uh, profile image links to where they now expire after a period of time. I imagine this is probably some sort of GDPR type issue, but it's a problem now because if you are pulling images down using links and just storing those links as a reference, they will expire in about 45 days. What's a good solution for that? We can pull down the base 64 and store the base 64 as well. Obviously that's going to be a lot of text, but let's, uh, let's take a look at it and see if it's uh, something that we can at least easily do. I believe I have a tool for that already. Yep, get web file from, yeah. So let's try this out. We'll play on my image here. And let's see, it's gonna be URI. We might have to add in the type, but now that I'm thinking about it, this might have, I might have made this specifically for it. Uh, so let's just give it a shot here. Yep, all right, well that was easy enough. <laughs> I forgot I had already built this. Uh, so how does this work? Now, if we then want to use this to load this image, we could now say, uh, let's get rid of this. So now it's gone. And how do we add in base 64? I'm trying to remember. I think you can just put it right in the SRC, right? I don't remember, but we'll try it like this. Yep, there we go. So then you just drop it right right in here like that, and then you have the image again. Uh, yeah, so pretty simple, I guess. All right, so we'll actually talk about uh, what, uh, what I was use planning to use that, or this uh, conversion for. So I'm building a Chrome extension to uh, bolt on to my ATS here so that when we are viewing a candidate profile, we can just click a button and look that person up in, on LinkedIn and return them back. And I don't want to, I want to be able to return the image from LinkedIn as well, but uh, trying to link that into uh, the client is not going to work very well. So I will, uh, I'll just write a little function here. So we're just going to say convert image link to base 64. We're going to pass through. Then when we change this name a little bit, I think that I want to call this something else because basically I'm going to I'm going to drop in an array of search results. The search results look like this. So this is the data that comes back. Here's our image object and convert image link to base 64. That's not what I want to call it. Convert search results image links to base64. And so this will take an array of the search results. I'm just going to call this results. Results. It's, it's going to be doing a bunch of fetches, so it needs to be a traditional loop. And we'll say container and then we'll, uh, loop through or but i equals zero, i is less than results length i plus plus, and then we will do our loop here. And the, the function is this up here, base 64, let equals await, get data blob, and here we're going to pass in the results iteration and that will be the image URL. We will let merge equals and let's just merge this in like this. So we'll take the results object that we have here and we'll use a spread operator. This is just going to merge two objects and we're going to create another object here. We're going to call this image base 64 and 
that will be base 64. And then finally, we will push that back into this array that we will then return once it is complete. All right, and so now I can basically enrich these LinkedIn search result objects with the base64 image. And we will be set.